Hello and welcome back to my kitchen. I am going to introduce uh, March's um, grades 4 through 8 grab and go kit project. So this month, if you picked up the, um, the grab and go kit, you got a bag with 100 um, popsicle sticks. So this month's uh, project is a build a bridge project, build a bridge challenge uh, using popsicle sticks. So um, with your 100 popsicle sticks, you'll need some glue. Uh, white glue or wood glue is good. Um, just remember if you're using, um, you can use like a, um, um, crazy glue, like instant glue. Uh, just remember that it's really, really difficult to get off your fingers if you glue yourself together. Um, and I wouldn't really suggest using hot melt glue, although it does dry quickly um, and it's relatively easy to use. Um, I don't find that I get the, like as strong. Well, it get, it, it'll give you a strong bond, but it also builds up a lot. You're not going to get, I don't think it's the best kind of glue to work with this. So I would, you know, suggest using a, a longer drying glue like uh, Elmer's glue um, and just have to kind of be patient with it. Um, so other things that you're going to need are uh, something for a platform, two equal size um, um, objects to create a platform with and something to make for a weight. You sh probably shouldn't use too much weight, more than like five pounds. I would be really surprised if somebody got more than five pounds, but if you do, that's really awesome. Um, I haven't tested my bridge out yet because I don't want to break it before I make the video, um, but I, I would be really surprised if my bridge held up um, five pounds worth of weight. So um, I'm going to kind of give you a, an idea of what to do. It's really up to you what kind of bridge you want to build um, and how you want to do it, but I will just show you some things for, you know, techniques for gluing, ways of not making a mess and upsetting your parents and ways of assembling a bridge and what a popsicle bridge, popsicle stick bridge could look like and we'll test mine out live on camera here. Okay, so here is my bridge. I use some triangles to help with the structure. It's kind of like a walking bridge where you walk across the top and it's all uneven and has cracks and spaces in it for people to fall through and there's no rails on the side so people can fall off. So this is a very unsafe bridge to actually use but we'll see if it can actually hold weight. Um, so I did kind of different things. I, you know, this actually, I didn't even use 100 popsicle sticks to make this. So, um, you know, if you're able to use all 100, that's great. If you don't, you know, less, if you can use less popsicle sticks and get a nice sturdy bridge, that's really awesome. So what I did was I made um, triangles like these um, as my kind of like my main support. So very simply taking three popsicle sticks. So um, just a warning, if you're, you know, when you're using a table and things like glue, if you were using like a wood table, it's going to be really hard to clean off and your parents are going to get really upset with you. So don't do that. Put something underneath. If you can get like a big sheet of cardboard, something like this, like my table, I've been doing crafts on forever. It's got scratches all over it, you know, plus the, the material, it's like a metal. So glue cleans off really easily. So I'm not too worried. Um, but if you have like, um, wax paper, wax paper is really good, or some cardboard. Um, another tip is uh, with wax paper is also using, um, since we're using uh, popsicle sticks, is to use a toothpick or a Q-tip. Q-tips get, can get messy after a little while, but a toothpick and um, a little bit of wax paper, I just, oh, almost there. Um, you know, I put like a bunch of, glue, uh, like a dab of glue on here. Once it comes out, Whoa, almost. There we go. There we go. All right, so I'll get like a dab of glue on here, and then I just use a um, the um, toothpick here to put the glue on. So this is really good, um, especially with like you uh, when you're gluing along the edges of the popsicle stick. Um, it's really uh, it makes it really easy to um, to get the glue on. So I'm just gonna. Move this forward a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Just getting some glue on the, the edges here. On the ends just to glue it together. So again, this is not quick drying glue. Um, Elmer's glue and um, like wood glues like this usually take about like a, a minute or two to start to set. But a good, you know, you really have to wait, give it like a good 15 minutes till it's really set. So, um, you know, if you have like a little roll, you can put that on top just to weigh it down to get it, um, just to get it to set right. Um, but when you're done, it should look like this. So 
Um, I did four, so I made four of these. And then once these were together, I connected them. I'm going to do this even though this is wet. Uh, you should wait till these are dry. But once that's done there, you can, um, you know, you would just glue your corner here and then glue another piece up here and then set it up along the way. Um, another thing, so uh, some other difficulties that you might find um, is, um, you know, I, I had these two rails, one and two, and then I was like trying to glue these together and it was really difficult to balance it. So um, on hindsight, I might just start off with like one and one um, and then glue popsicle sticks uh, to this to connect them. Um, to connect at the corners at least, um, or at the tops, like the tops and the corners or something, just to kind of get started and then uh, maybe move along and connect all four of them, just to, it would be easier to balance, this is going to fall apart probably, but you know, to kind of balance this out and connect here and, you know, down here rather than trying to, um, trying to, to do this, you know, when they're, when they're like this, because it's a little bit harder to, to balance out. Um, so yeah, so that's just a couple little tips and ways of not upsetting your parents by getting glue and damaging their table, and um, just an idea of what you can, you know, how to, you know, triangles are really sturdy, um, you know, oh, and also have some napkins on hand, so you are gluing, but this glue is very easy to wash off, so you shouldn't worry too much. So now let's, uh, let's see what my bridge can do. So I've got two equal platforms. I have my um, 3D printing filament stuff here. Let's see if I can get this nice and centered without knocking everything off of my table and then making a mess all over my kitchen. All right, so I got there and I... Okay, so I took a plate and put it on the top and now I have my coffee carafe and I filled it up where it's about one cup of coffee and it's holding up pretty nicely. So now, I don't know if this is the best of ideas because I'm probably going to get water all over the place, but I'm just going to fill it up and see how much, well not fill it up all together, I'm just going to tr maybe try to get it to like the next line and see how, see how it does. So now it's at, you know, about a cup and a half or so of coffee. Okay, it's holding up, let's keep going. Get up to the number six there. That's for me two big cups of coffee. All right, it's uh, it's holding up. Maybe this can hold a three pound weight. Let's get up to that. Oh, let's see how much more weight this can hold. How much water I have. Hmm. All right. So my water experiment worked pretty well. So now I'm going to be daring and grab one of these three pound weights. So one thing about the plate is that it spreads the weight evenly across the bridge. Whereas if I just put a three pound weight in the center, I'm pretty sure that's gonna just crush it. So hopefully this will help. Oh, okay, I'm actually, <laughs> I'm not pleasantly surprised. All right, so I got three pounds. Let me try doing this then. I'm gonna put three here and three here. So that'll be six pounds. Okay. Got six pounds. Let's see if it can get my coffee carafe with about two, with more than two cups of coffee. Wow, my bridge is actually doing pretty well. I um I didn't think it would uh, uh, hold up. So um yeah, be creative and find ways of putting adding weight to your bridge and seeing how it works. Um, you know, remember spread out the weight. Um, if you put all the weight right in the center, let's see if I can break it. Right. Let's see if this will break if I put all the weight right in the middle. So the idea of the bridge is that the bridge itself should spread out the weight, and it looks like it is. Wow! I'm kind of proud of myself and really surprised that I did such a good job with this bridge. Alright, I'm gonna um, stop the video now. So that's the challenge, you know, build yourself a bridge, two equal platforms, and get some weights, be creative with the weights. Um, I'm gonna get some more weights and see how much my bridge can hold and uh, take a picture of that and put that up for you all to see. So that's your challenge for the week. Build a bridge, see how much weight it can, it can hold. Uh, please send us pictures of what you made and, um, and how much weight you, you were able to get it to hold. I'd love to see. Um, and I'll see you next month with another fun project.